Welcome to the NBA NCAA Fantasy Faves. That's right. I'm back. Come on, you didn't think I'd stay gone for that long, did you? So now that the NFL is in the playoffs, um, I will do. I will have a uh, beat Biddy uh, pick six. So this week weekend, you're gonna have four picks. Next weekend, you're gonna have two picks, and uh, that'll be the uh, pick six. And the problem is, guys, you got to pick six this weekend. I'm not gonna let you pick four this weekend and two next weekend. You got to pick the six this weekend. And then, uh, and then we'll have a Super Bowl challenge with the uh, point total and all that good stuff. But after the uh, the beat bitty pick six, we're going to be doing the, not even after, but concurrently, uh, we're going to do NBA NCAA Fantasy Faves League. Uh, you know I couldn't stay away from this. Football and basketball are my favorite sports. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, I'm going to try to keep these videos a bit, little bit shorter than I did when I did the NFL NCAA version because uh, I know you guys this time is precious and so is mine all right so let's get right down to it you're gonna have six teams in the NBA you're gonna have six teams in the NCAA uh, oh well wow. this is like the Charger games were right all up on the field at uh, StubHub Center all right let me back up a little bit <clears throat> just did that so my dog wouldn't jump in my lap uh, NBA we got the Los Angeles Lakers, of course, that's my favorite team. In a close second, you have the Golden State Warriors. And rounding out the uh, NBA West, you're going to have the San Antonio Spurs. Over there in the NBA East, you're going to have who else but LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. You're going to have D. Rose and Carmelo Anthony in the New York Knicks. And then you're going to have um, who else we got? Oh. Of course, you're going to have Jimmy Butler uh, in the um, Chicago Bulls. So, jumping right into the NCAA. Uh, the ACC is going to be a strong conference this year. Uh, as I was watching some of the games, I did originally have Duke and North Carolina in the mix. However, I ixnayed Duke once Grayson Allen started acting a fool. And for everybody that uh, is a Duke fan... Um, I went ahead and, and ixnayed North Carolina uh, Tar Heels just because it's not fair. If you get rid of Duke, you got to get rid of North Carolina. And in their place, I put in Notre Dame and Florida State. So I kept it in the ACC, and Notre Dame had a great win over Miami. Um, I guess I believe they said they were 4-0 in the ACC on top of the ACC. So Notre Dame, you're in. Florida State, um, I'm carrying your team over from the NCAA football season. Uh, because I know I have a couple Florida State fans out there, so we're going to go with that. So, without further ado, NCAA North Division, uh, it's just all strictly ACC. ACC versus the rest, right? you got Notre Dame, Louisville, and Florida State. Then, over there in the NCAA South, um, you got a Pac-12 representative, UCLA. Uh, you got the Big 12 representative, Kansas, the Jayhawks, Rock Chalk Jayhawk. And then you have uh, Kentucky uh, from the SEC. So the Kentucky Wildcats, so that's my favorite team along with Kansas. Uh, those are the 12 teams that are going to comprise the NBA NCAA Fantasy Faves League. And week one, my friends, is already in the book. So let me jump right into it and tell you how week one uh, broke down. I did have two head-to-head -head games. We had the Lakers versus the Spurs the other night. The Spurs kicked the Lakers' butt straight up. They beat them 134-94. Spurs win. Lakers lose. You had the Warriors taking on the Cavaliers, which, um, huh, that's kind of funny. <clears throat> I probably could have done that better because Warriors-Cavaliers are having a straight-up game. Uh, or are they? Let's see. Warriors-Cavaliers are having a straight-up game week two. So let me go ahead and... And flip these two here. Well, let's see. The Bulls had... All right, you guys. Hold on one second. Let me uh, make some amendments, and I'll be right back.